Well, hey guys, I wanted to do a quick review on my Whitney Simmons um, leggings. Um, I just got these the other day. Um, these were the only thing I was able to actually get because everything literally sold out, which had me extremely frustrated. Um, but I have these in a size medium. They're a size black and I am completely in love with them. I thought that I would be like Lulu them and grow forever, but clearly I have had a epiphany on like these leggings right here. Um, so one thing that I love about them is the high riseness. Um, I personally, for me, I just love high rise especially how high these come i mean this is like my belly button that's like down here and these literally come up i would say like an inch and a half to maybe even two inches above my belly button which is what i like so that when i'm doing squats um you know you can't see um like i don't have to worry about them like rolling down type of a thing um or like for me because i have a booty um, one of the big problems for me is, especially with like low rise, it just literally, basically, I am like sagging in not the cutest way. Um, but these just like feel like they're staying up. There is a little bit of rolling, but nothing like too concerning. The other thing that I love about these is just like how very incognito I feel like the branding is, which is something that I love, as well as this little um, piece right here, which has her name on it. Um, I have not washed these yet, so we will see, like only time will tell if the little um, embossing over here might fall off. Um, I hope that it doesn't, but it's very, it's a very interesting like material. My other favorite thing is back here is the way that it has like the scrunchie and the booty and how high it comes up again um, to my belly button in like the middle of my back, which is like for me, if I'm ordering something that's high-waisted, I basically want these these puppies to go like to like my chest and my chin. And I feel like I'm definitely getting these. This is this type of cut is most flattering for my body type. Um, I am a hourglass figure. Um, so I'm very top heavy as well as very bottom heavy. Um, so it gives me that look. The other thing that I love about these shorts is the fact that you cannot see my moose knuckle because there is no, um, there's no center seam, which I love because I have so many pants and it's just kind of like embarrassing. Uh, what do you call it? Like my Under Armour. They're really cute on me. I've been wearing Under Armour literally since high school, but you know, if they do I have to be very careful and mindful if they were a certain way and I mostly feel comfortable with wearing it at home and working out like on my porch um, I mean on my um, balcony over here so I definitely love that about like these shorts you cannot see any of that the seams are instead like right here um, and it's just very 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 cohesive and I love that about these what I will say um, that I'm kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like pick your poison type of a thing. It is the material of these. I can definitely say that these will grab like dust and lint because they have the material almost like a, like a cotton legging. Um, do you know what I mean? So it doesn't have that in the way that you would with like another, I guess it's like neoprene, I guess you could say, or like whatever they make the, it's like a traditional Lululemon Wonder Under, which has that kind of like matte look. It doesn't have that that sleeky type of look. So for me, that's like the only disadvantage. I like my personally in terms of fabric to wear like um I like my fabric to wear like um like an, an under armor material and these aren't like that which i am kind of okay with but i just have to be a little bit mindful of for me um now knowing this if these were to go on sale again i would definitely and this is personally for me stick to the darker colors um but that's like the only drawback i do love the length of these leggings this is typically kind of short for me 
I am the kind of girl where it's like only thing that I ask for my leggings is for the inseam to be like longer than five inches like come to like the midi almost like the 80s look I love a good high-waistedness another thing that I love is like a drawstring these don't have a drawstring in them but what I will say is that I don't feel like I actually need it which makes me feel great then again these are brand new so in terms of washing them and drying them we will see how this might wear in terms of keeping that ness type of a deal i ordered these in a medium i feel like this is a great size for me um especially because when it comes to being bottom heavy um mediums just it gives me like a little bit more like leeway in terms of my fitness goals but if I were to give you like a little bit of context, I am 5'1", um, I'm 125 pounds. Um, and then, you know, before this is, um, as of, I'm currently now on my, my fitness or my, my health journey, um, I'm normally between like previous to this, I was more on the 135 to 141 kind of route, but, um, and then like my highest that I was, was um 145 pounds so i've lost 20 pounds so i definitely keep that in mind as well um so these do fit pretty well i don't really plan on losing that much more weight i know that in terms of my upcoming fitness goals will to be maybe lose about five um maybe about five pounds in fat and i would love to gain um three percent in muscle um for me so i will see how that will distribute on my body right now um in regards to um in regards to um my body type which is a endomorph type of body so that means like i you know that's the way that my body deposits and distributes fat a little di bit different than someone that's like an ectomorph um, or a mesomorph. So I have more of a, a softer type of body. Um, but right now, um, in terms of me, I will be using this more so with my training that is um, in alignment with strength training. So I do um, a lot of strength training um, as well as um strength and weight training um i do not my only cardio that i do is high intensity um or low intensity cardio i might get on a bike or i might do jump roping mostly that is because i am currently recovering um from a knee injury so i'm doing pt for that and i cannot run the way that i used to run before before i was completely um like a full-time cardio girl um or run an hour and a half two hours a day um, but I can't do that anymore, so I've definitely been forced to um, change my workout routine completely. So this will be a lot of lifting, um, more so. So, you know, my sweat is going to be a lot different. I am going to do a quick little squat test for you um, of just me doing a regular simple squat and then also a squat with weights. So this is it. Um, FYI, I also do have underwear. Um, on. I personally, just for me, I always wear underwear um, and that is a bikini cut. I don't wear thongs or g-strings or anything like that because that's uncomfortable for me when it comes to working out. But I like to wear underwear simply for the fact that I get pretty sweaty in my um, general kind of like groin area. So for me, like the underwear really helps with that and also I don't want to have like an odor when I am washing my clothes. I want to be able to like just throw these in a hamper and these don't have like a, a stinky smell to them when I'm washing my clothes at the end of the week. I don't wash my workout clothes as soon as I'm done using them, I throw them in the hamper. So that is why I wear underwear. So you will see um, a panty line. The underwear that I do have on this is just black underwear which matches. But um, let me go ahead and do the squat test for you. Make sure I'll do things more like that. So yeah, there goes that right there. I'm also gonna do a quick little squat with my barbell. Okay. So this is it from the side. Thank you. 
sure that you guys can get it, so I'm going to look a little bit as well. So for me, in terms of squat proofing, this definitely more than, whoopsie. Oh, this, these shirts get the job done for me. All in all, I would definitely rate these other than the things that I said. So you can also see with those little squats, the shorts did ride up a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, all in all, I would give these shorts about a four and a half out of five due to the simple minor thing, and that's a preference thing for me. Um, but yeah, so if you have any questions, let me know. I'm definitely gonna be ordering some more. This is like my first Gymshark product that I've ever bought. I normally wear um, either Lululemon, Nike, um, or what's the other one that's coming off the, the tip of my tongue or um, Under Armour. Um, so those are typically like my go-tos, but I would definitely say I would buy these. I'm actually planning on buying these, um, buying these just to have. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see, but thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions and types of content that you wanna see, um, just let me know. But I just really wanted to give like, you know, women who have my specific body type, um, a little bit of um, context on these shorts before they make the buy. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.